The structure and consistency of the Cerullo Learning Assistance Center, along with solid faculty collaboration and our staff members bond through their strong work ethics and respect for each other can be seen in the success of the thousands of students who utilize our services each and every year. The tutoring center from the first day I walked in what appeared to me a very positive, organized, structured uh, institution. And they live up to their, uh, their moniker as being the number one tutoring center in America. I can see why. The students do appreciate uh, good tutors. And I know I, as a tutor and a professor, appreciate the good administration we have there because they not only, they not only help me, they also are there for the students' benefits. And the students see that right away. And there's a positive ambiance as soon as you walk in to the time you walk out. And I'm very happy that Bergen Community College does have a place like the Tutoring Center at Bergen. The Bergen Community College Tutoring Center is, I have to say, different from any other tutoring center I've ever been to. And I've been to many before, but it's different from their ability to, from their tutors. Their tutors are able to communicate with students on a different level, I believe. And the reason why I believe this is because they have an arsenal of teaching methods that they're able to implement to any student, to any teaching style, from any point of view. I've come there from the last three years. At first I was hesitant to go there because maybe I can do this on my own, maybe I can't. But the fact that that comes with it, I was able to sit down with a tutor who once struggled with the same things I struggled with, whether it be in a math course, a writing course, and they felt what I felt at that one point either being stuck with a problem, stuck with hiring the fixer paper, they were able to implement any type of teaching method that I may have, depending on the subject, and implement it towards any of my studies. And that's why I feel the Bergen Community College Tutoring Center is different. I found like amazing tutors helping me with English and uh, helping me with writing, my speech, reading, and everything. And I, I found confidence. I found confidence to talk and uh, take regular classes with uh, native speaker students. Then I wanted to uh, give back to, the, uh, to other students like me who come here and they don't know English. So I, uh, I tried hard. I got A in uh, both my composition one and two and I became a tutor. For, uh, and I started working in ELRC as a, um, in a center that I, uh, then I got my confidence. And uh, one time, um, I had a student. She started uh, crying after our session finished, and she said, oh, you gave me confidence. And uh, that day, I was so happy because uh, I gave back what I uh, got from this center. I don't know how they do it, but I almost quit college. It was too much for me at first. But when I met Alice and Karen, and especially Akuna, I knew from then I was in a good shape and good hands. They are such an awesome people over there. They take their time. They are very patient with new students, and they are doing a very great job over there. With working with them from C student, now I'm A student over them, and I'm proud of them not only academics, they help me, they crack down, they make it so fun for me, I feel at home. As tutors, we are here to understand the students' struggle and simply assist them, not to criticize them. The staff is very friendly, and the other tutors I work with are always genuinely willing to listen and help anyone in need. I myself go to them when I have questions about any of my upper-level chemistry classes. My supervisors are there to aid me, not only when I have tutoring related questions, but also to guide me with my future career plans. And that to me makes the center such a complete and gratifying place to be a part of. And being a tutor really has been a great way for me to connect with the BCC community here. It's a really, it's really how experiences both outside and here at BCC, build on each other and help really spread the news and get the word out, not just for ASL as a language, but deaf culture and how that can be shared with both hearing and deaf students. 
and I hope I can really inspire all deaf, hard of hearing, and hearing students. They can be inspired that they can do anything and they can succeed. So for me as a professor in the English department, I often find students who are doing very well in class and I think to myself, you know, they'd be great tutors. And then, you know, by the end of the semester, I ask them if they'd like to be a tutor and then I get them in touch with John Fendora. And then suddenly my student is in the writing center working with students. And as the liaison, I am very fortunate in that I get to work with those students and I help train them and I work with them. And then little by little, the semester wears away. And then by the end of the semester, the, the student will then come up to me and say, hey, I'm thinking about applying to my four year colleges. And it is at this point that I get, then get to work with the tutor in a different capacity as mentor as they apply to their four-year schools. I help them with their essays and often write letters of recommendation. And by the end of the semester, typically in the spring, I have a week where I have many tutors come up to me and they tell me about these wonderful schools that they're getting into. And it's just such a lovely moment. Someday, one guy came to Math Turing Center with Pythagorean theory problem. He was memorizing with math terminology, which is like opposite square plus, Jason square equals, hypotenuse, something like that. So I also explained to him with math terminology, but he didn't, he still get it. So I tried to make fun stories for him. For instance, there's a building and your lover got stuck on the 10th floor, which is 10 meter. And there's a river between you and building, which is five meter but you have only chance to get leather to rescue her. What length of leather do you need? And he started to be interested in math and he understood clearly. At that moment, I was like, ah, let's make fun story for people. So I've been making fun story related to math at Turing Center. And it also affect my studying style. And it feels me like teaching is also learning. I've seen the tutors from start till they leave or become professional tutors grow. Grow emotionally, grow socially, as well as academically. That's been the biggest plus for me. Working with the tutors is what's kept me here well beyond my retirement. And I should be retirement, retired, but that will wait until I'm done with my work with the tutors. I've been an academic instructor for 45 years and for the last two and a half years I've been an, a tutor at the Cyril Learning Assistance Center. Uh, I've had many positive experiences in the tutoring center. Um, one particular instance I can re uh, fondly recall was, occurred in the summer of 2016 when a young lady wanted to uh, get help in Spanish and I spent the whole summer semester helping her and when the semester was over she thanked me very much and then she said a a profound comment I'll never forget. She said, I also want to thank you very much for making me think on my own two feet, think independently. And I realize that education is not just teaching, it's educating to make students think independently. And I believe the tutoring center does foster this, um, this concept. Being faculty liaison has been a very good experience. It's the best part of being at Bergen for me. Not that I don't love teaching, but the contact with the tutors have helped me grow. It, the tutors have also grown, obviously. The tutor training they get makes them better tutors. They learn the material, but they also learn how to become better tutors. They learn how other instructors or different instructors have different methods. They learn to adapt. And because of that, I've learned also a lot of things. The tutoring center for me is the best part of Bergen. And when they got their awards, it was just a reinforcement from what I already knew in my heart that it's, they are the best.